Hello, my name is William England. I'm here to tell you about a couple things today. First of all, do you know about the power of music? The nations of Finland and Belgium exist today because of music. In fact, there are a lot of nations that probably exist in some part due to music, and maybe all of them. On December 14, 2017, eight days from now, the Federal Communications Commission is planning to vote to dismantle net neutrality regulations. Net neutrality regulations were put in place in 2015. They attempted to tackle certain issues that were going on at the hands of the internet service providers. These are companies such as Verizon, Comcast, and AT&T that we are familiar with. It prevents these companies from deciding what you should see and at what speed. Additionally, it prevents these companies from deciding, based on income level, who should get the fast internet and who should get the slow internet. Most of us can guess whose favor that would tend to go in. Now, the most immediate way that you will see the change after net neutrality is taken away is something that is happening in countries such as Portugal right now. Instead of paying one bill to use the internet and get equal access to everything, you will have to pay for a myriad of little packages. So if you want to visit a website such as YouTube, you will have to pay a package that includes YouTube. If you would like to visit a little website known as Netflix, you'll have to pay a package to visit Netflix, and it's going to be in addition to the subscription fee that you pay for Netflix already. So, the head of the Federal Communications Commission is a man named Ajit Pai. Ajit Pai held a position in Verizon Communications Incorporated from 2001 to 2003 called Associate General Counsel. Sorry, all this talking gets me a little dry. So, even with that going on, you might be thinking, well, why do we even need these regulations if one of the great things about the United States is that we have the free enterprise system and we have free market competition that helps keep things like this from happening that would hurt consumers? Well, unfortunately, in this case, free market enterprise and free market competition is not able to take place because a vast percentage of the land area of the United States is only covered by one internet service provider. That means that competition cannot take place and the system does not work. The internet has become such a firm part of all of our lives and it's beginning to seem like it's almost as crucial of a communication tool to speak and to listen as your vocal cords and your ears. Don't you think that everyone has an equal right to listen and to speak to each other? There is something that you can do. Among many things, there are protests taking place tomorrow, Thursday, December 7th, across the United States. These protests are taking place at Verizon locations, so Verizon stores, where you might have gone to check out your cellular service or to buy a phone. Thus, there is something that you can do. You can go and voice your opinion at 
one of these protests, you can tell the FCC that you do not want net neutrality regulations to be taken away. I'm running out of things to play. Oh yeah. So, I encourage all musicians to go out tomorrow to these protests which are being held by demandprogress.org to go out and play or sing a B-flat for net neutrality. I consider everyone whose heart is beating in rhythm right now to be a musician. Ajit Pai, the FCC, and the internet service providers, you will fail in dampening the human spirit's ability to communicate and to express itself. You will fail in this. It's something you cannot touch. However, we are going to do what we can to let you know that you are not representing what we wish you to do. You are in your position because of the people of the United States. We do not want you to dismantle net neutrality regulations. Thus, if you do this, it will be against our interests, and we will find a way still, as always, to express ourselves. But we hope that you consider and listen to the opinions of the American people. Mm -hmm. So express yourself. Let them know that you are not in favor of these regulations being taken away. I made that all by myself. So tomorrow, go out and sing or play a B flat for net neutrality. I'm going to close with a little bit of music from one of America's great alto saxophonists, Cannonball Adderley. This is the beginning of his solo from The Chant. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.